Hey guys, Vincent here of 271 Honda Performance. And in today's tech video, I'm gonna walk you guys through on how to use our wheel fitment guide. This is the guide and template you're gonna use to see if you need a spacer or what wheels will work with our high performance big brake kit for your Honda Civic. So follow along as we go through some simple steps to see what you can do to increase stopping performance on your Honda. The single biggest question we get asked about our Honda Performance Big Brake Kit is whether or not it's going to fit with my wheels. Now everyone's wheels is different, going everything from OEM to fully aftermarket and different sizes and different offsets. So what we created is a wheel fitment template guide that you can use against your current wheel to determine whether or not the Big Brake Kit will fit and whether or not you need a wheel spacer. So I'm going to show you guys where to find it on the website and how to use it and demonstrate it with an example on our Honda Civic Si. From the products page, you're going to go ahead and click on the Big Brake Kit web listing. Once you're on the web listing, we're going to scroll down to the Wheel Fitment Template Guide that you can cut out and print from your home printer. The Wheel Fitment Template Guide is going to have all the step-by-step -step instructions on what you need to perform the fitment, but we're also going to show you in this video right here. So looking at the screen now, we've got the Wheel Fitment Guide instructions. You're gonna go ahead and print out these two pages. The first one is what we're gonna to use to actually check fitment on our wheels. All right guys, now that we got the Wheel Fitment Template Guide printed out, we're gonna show you how to apply it to the cardstock and how to use it to check the wheels. So we're gonna run through the stuff that you're gonna to need to get this to work out. We got the Wheel Fitment Template Guide, a pair of scissors, some cardstock like a folder or something sturdy that we can apply the template guide to, glue stick to get it all to stick, and then a ruler or a digital caliper to allow us to measure the clearance to see if we need a wheel spacer or not. Now that the arts and crafts project is done, we now have a wheel fitment template guide that we're gonna use. This template guide is gonna basically simulate the brakes on the car, and we'll show you how to use it against the wheel to let you know if your current wheel setup is gonna work, or if you need to get a wheel space or something else to make it accommodate. So we're gonna jump over to our 2018 Honda Civic Si, show you guys how to use it. All right guys, so for the final step of the wheel fitment template guide, we're gonna show you how to actually use it on two wheels. For this example, we've got an OEM 18SI wheel and we have a pretty standard aftermarket performance wheel. So we're gonna show you how the template's gonna fit against the bore hub and what you're gonna be looking for to make sure if the brake kit's gonna clear or not. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So next you're gonna take your wheel fitment template guide and you're gonna go ahead and set it up in your wheel hub bore. Now if you have a larger or smaller wheel hub bore, you can just cut the paper as needed. The most important part is that these two arrows are placed against the wheel hub. Make sure they're flat right there. So having it against a wheel hub, you can now see on these top corner right here, we're hitting this wheel spoke. So what this tells us is that the OEM 18 by eight plus 50 wheel found on the SI is not gonna work without a spacer. So in a case like this, a wheel spacer will be required. So you can now use example wheel spacers and measure different heights to determine what you're gonna need for the Honda Civic. So this wheel, we have an aftermarket wheel. This is a 17 by eight plus 45. Now you can see here, we're gonna do the same thing. Make sure that we go into the wheel hub, make sure that our two arrows are lined up against the face of the wheel, and we're gonna check it again. Now going here, you can see we have optimal clearance between the spoke and the end of our cutout. This tells us that our big brake kit's gonna fit without the addition of a wheel spacer. This wheel will mount directly to the hub, no problems, and no interference to the brake kit. So that wraps up on how to use this guide to measure against your wheels to see if you're gonna need a space or not for the 271 Performance Big Brake Kit. Thanks for tuning in. If you guys got any questions, you can always give us a call, 571-271-0271, or shoot us an email, we're always happy to help. I'm Vincent, we'll catch you guys next time.